Okay, we'll start with the Mustard R30, size 14, dry fly hook. This is the Renegade. We'll attach our black tying thread. Go about halfway. This is another one of those patterns that you never see used much anymore, but has a wonderful reputation as a, as a real fish catcher, so it's a shame really. Um, tinsel. It has rather a strange tag, as you'll see, because it goes quite far down the uh, the hook bend and I like to tie patterns as traditional as I possibly can so this is what uh, we go to about there and we turn the tinsel to the gold side and we make three or four turns down into the hook bend and then we come back up again. Now it doesn't really imitate anything, it's an attractive pattern as far as I can find out um, and it's, uh, it's used for as a caddis fly but it doesn't resemble anything like a caddis fly. But it's also known as being one of uh, the best patterns to fish as a MIG, as a midge cluster. So we'll just go back here. Then what we need is a brown heckle. Now it's based on a lot of patterns from the UK from the turn of the century that were called fore and aft, meaning that there was a hackle at the rear and a hackle at the front. So we get the brown hackle tied in here. Keep the turns nice and tight into each other. And you want it quite a burstery hackle, lots of it. Tie that off. Apparently it was also one of Ernest Hemingway's uh, favourite trout flies. But it's known as one of the best patterns for cutthroat trout. Something I've never fished. So now we want a peacock curl. Just trying to find out the best way to tie that in. There we are. Take my fine thread back into the hackle. Want this nice and tight into there. Just tie down the end. And want to go forward. And wind quite a bit of thread on here if you're going to use your vise to rotate. And wrap the hackle, the uh, the peacock hill. And just put my hackle pliers on there. And uh, this being a size 14 hook, you don't need more than one peacock hell to do the body. And of course, as I've shown in some of my other videos, you can reinforce this body if you wish with tying thread or wire. That'll do us to there. We'll just wind that the uh, tying thread back into it. We are and swap them over.
Good. And remove the peacock hurl. Then we want the forward heckle, which is white, and you don't see that often anymore. A white heckle being used. Not many patterns have that. Go forward. Now I like to just build up a little bit of tying thread between the head and the hackle so I get a nice even wrap to the hackle. Now the front hackle should be a little larger than the rear. There we go. Gotcha. Okay, that's going over there like that. And then to come in there. And then just take this again. You want a fat tackle here. Lots of it all the way to the front. off Turn on that vice <laughs> give it a whip finish Carefully remove the hackle. And another whip finish. It's quite, it's been a, a real steep learning curve for me to tie flies in this POV style in front of the camera because I'm tying slightly to one side. There we are. Let's give that one more. Just to cover up that, there we go. Hackle and that's us. Remove the tying thread. And there we have it. The finished Renegade dry fly. Thanks for watching.